Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you saw from the title, we're gonna be doing a back to school, easy, quick makeup look. In this coming semester, I have an 8 a.m. three hour medical microbiology class on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I have work literally right after that. Luckily, I'm only taking two classes this semester, which is so awesome, but I do need a very, very quick makeup look in the morning to get out the door and to pretty much last me all day long. Today's look is gonna be very, very quick and easy, and I'm wearing my glasses because I do wear glasses when I'm in school just because it's easier for me to see. I have um, astigmatism in both eyes, so I don't really need them like on an everyday basis, but when I'm in class, I do need them. So I have to keep in mind like the little glasses area so that it doesn't like clump up and look all gross by the end of the day. I wanna stay on trend. I wore a sweater because this is what I wear to school. Your girl don't dress up for school. I don't have all that time in the world. I wear very, very comfortable clothes to school. I need to be covered from head to toe because I take a lot of lab classes. So like I can't wear like shorts and a cute tank top. I'll get kicked out of class. I know recently my channel has been kind of like all over the place. Like I've been posting a lot of other videos, random videos with my husband and just like vlogs and a bunch of other things. And I'm sorry if you guys don't like that. I've honestly been losing subscribers because I've been posting those kind of videos. But honestly, that's okay with me um, because I never really wanted my channel to strictly be makeup. Of course, obviously, I am still going to be doing makeup looks and reviews and everything like that. But I have lost like 15 subscribers because I've been posting kind of just like random videos. But I enjoy watching those videos, so I want to post them. Um, maybe one day I'll have two channels, one of like a vlog channel and one just like strictly makeup. So I am sorry for those of you who I have lost, but um, I hope you come back and join me because... I really like having you guys here. But anyways, we are gonna get started. So let's start with this 10 minute quick makeup routine of mine. All of my brushes are very dirty. You are gonna have to deal with it because I was gonna clean them and then I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't clean them and then I'm filming the video. So sorry about that. And then I'm gonna take my glasses off because I don't need them. <laughs> um, and we are going to get started. So the first thing, I think no matter what is a primer. Um, I am a firm believer in primers. I do honestly see a difference when I use them, but I like switch back and forth. Also, I'm gonna start with a lip balm. I'm just taking this, I think this is First Aid Beauty. Yeah, so for my primer, I am going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. You guys know I absolutely love this stuff right here. It is my Ryard Dye. I wear it literally almost every single day. Um, and then I am not gonna be using this today because I don't wanna waste it because it's like $40 sunscreen. I put this on every single morning. I love this stuff. It is the Lancome UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense 50 SPF sunscreen. That was a, a lot to say at once, but I absolutely love this stuff. It is incredible. It's pretty much like a primer. Sometimes if I'm like really in a rush, I will just use this and I will not use this. If I'm only going to wear one, it will definitely be the SPF. But for today, I am just going to be use this because I don't wanna waste this because I'm not going out in the sun after. The next thing I will do is use my Hollywood Flawless Filter and I will just put this on the high points of my face because this gives you like a beautiful glow underneath your foundation. Now what we're going to do is go in with some foundation. Normally for me, I usually don't wear a foundation on an everyday basis, but I wanted to make this towards the majority of people that are probably going to watch a fast makeup routine for back to school who do wear foundation. With that being said, today I am going to go in with foundation. So I am going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I love this stuff. It is a very, very lightweight coverage foundation. It's great. It looks extremely natural. I'm obsessed with it. I just, I really like it. I'm just going to quickly blend it out with a brush. I will be going in with a beauty blender, but since we are trying to do it like faster makeup look, I will just blend it out very, very lightly with a stippling brush and then go in just to smooth out the product with my beauty blender. Now that I have that very lightly blended out, we're going to go in with the beauty blender so you don't have to work the product around your face with the beauty blender you just blend it out and then you can lightly just pat this all over your face just to make it seamless and not have streaks and it literally takes so much less time to use this and then this instead of just strictly going in it literally knocks like a full minute and a half to two minutes out of my makeup routine and that might not sound like a lot but honestly when you're in a rush it is a lot so I love this. So after we get the foundation blended out, I am going to go in with concealer. So normally I wouldn't have foundation on and I would just do this step. All right, that 
dehumidifier needs to go. So I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape in light sand. These are the normal spots that I would put concealer and then I'll just blend them out. And after this step, I need to have my powder ready. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose powder in vanilla and very lightly. I don't like to bake or put a lot of powder underneath my eyes. I am just right underneath the eye. If you need blush, everyone needs blush. If you don't, if you say you don't need blush, you're lying. I think today I'm going to use the incredible one. This is more of like, these are more like bombs type products and I love them they're super easy to use if you are not used to a like cream product I would definitely stick with the elf ones but I think today I'm gonna use this so put it in the cap just like this take the brush that I use for blush swirl it around and then I'll bring the rest of it up very 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 light but it's pretty it gives you like a little like kiss of color now still sticking with blushes but i'm using them on the eyes i'm going to take my elf blushes with a morphe e23 brush just because it just fits perfectly and swirl my brush in the blushes tap a little off and i'm going to go in on the eyes with these i also use the glossier cloud paints with this stuff i know a lot of people don't like this and a lot of people who do actually have it try and cover it up with like a concealer or something but i love the look of a discolored eyelid like desi perkins has like a discolored eyelid and i think it looks so pretty and see it's very subtle but it just gives you like a little bit of color to the eyelids and i am obsessed it's something that i will do often very often um another product that i do love to use if i don't feel like going in with a cream blush or even if i'm in more of a rush because this does take like an extra 30 seconds i know that's like literally nothing another product that i love that i use literally all the time that takes like five seconds is this pop goes the shadow um eyeshadow in the color toasted i got it like two years ago in like a ipsy subscription box or something like that i honestly don't even remember but i love this color so much the next thing that i normally do is just powder my face just very 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 slightly so i'm gonna take the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless powder on a very very fluffy brush and literally Just very lightly go in and powder my face because if I don't and I touch my skin and I stop, like, I'm very oily, so I have to do, like, a very light layer. Since I do have such a light layer, my oils will come through in, like, a very, very beautiful, like, glowy way. But they won't come through in a way where I have, like, a bunch of powder on and then, like, my makeup starts to, like, move. It will just, like, blend my makeup out in a very pretty way. If that makes any sense at all, probably not, but to me it does. Now, for just a little bit extra, like I said, I do wear glasses. So I take a little bit of the loose powder that I was using earlier. I am going to powder because it will help a lot. It won't make it perfect and I'll probably still get creasing there, but it will make it a lot better than if I didn't have that there. And while I do that, the next product I'm gonna go in with is the Honest Beauty Magic Beauty Balm. And I know you guys are probably like, girl, you didn't you just say you have oily skin? Why are you putting like oil? This is like legit like bomb, like lit bomb, but not lip bomb. It just gives it this like beautiful, just like glossy look that I absolutely love. And now that we put that on, we're gonna set it lightly with the Laura Mercier um powder, but the sh Oh no. This isn't the shimmery one. <gasps> I got the wrong one. Normally I would go with that and just like set that bomb just a little bit just to give me a little bit of a more of a glow But today since we don't have that <laughs> We're gonna go in with an actual Highlighter normally I won't go in with an actual highlighter on an everyday basis because I just Think it's excessive and now the last few steps that I will sometimes go in with depending on Okay, listen, I'm over it. Stop texting me and now for the last few steps, I will sometimes go with, sometimes not, depending on the situation and what I'm feeling. Um, but I have a few products that 
I want to show you. So for blush, if I want to go in with the powder blush on top of my cream blush, just to make it last that extra long time, I will usually take like a shimmery type blush. Like this is the Milani Luminoso blush and it has a little shimmer in it. And I will focus it like just like up here, if that makes any sense. Another alternative that I want to show you guys is the Bart's Bees blush in the color Toasted Cinnamon. This is a blush that I will go in with if I'm not wearing any bronzer because it's kind of like a bronzer shade, if that makes any sense. And then if you guys want to use bronzer, obviously just go in with the bronzer. But I normally don't do this step if I'm just wearing like a very, very light face just because I just don't like the way it looks. Not a big fan of it. I'm just going to show you kind of what they both look like. Normally I will just pick one, but I'm going to show you what they both look like. So I'm going to take Toasted Cinnamon. Just focus that kind of like down low where you would put a bronzer. See, it just gives you like a very, very like sun-kissed look. Or like I said, I will just take like a blush. Any kind of blush would work. You can honestly use literally any blush, your favorite blush. Um, I just have this on hand. Now that pretty much the face is done, I just drew my beauty marks on with the NYX eyebrow marker. This is a key. If you have beauty marks, draw them in over your makeup because it just makes it look like you're not wearing as much makeup. Now that we're completely done with the face, we're going to move on to brow. So I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay brow blade and I'm going to be using the ink side. And you can use any side you want, but I'm just going to lightly do... Just brow strokes in the front of my brow. And now that I have that drawn on, I will take my Anastasia brow gel thing and lightly go over it because my brows are tinted from like makeup and stuff like that. So I just bring them back to life with that. Guys, I'm telling you. Okay, let me just, let's have a talk. Brows are the like soul to the face. They just frame it. It's great. So if you guys need to take a while on your brow give yourself that time if i'm just like going at it i will literally do this whole entire makeup look in 10 to 15 minutes max and it's and i love it and it lasts throughout the whole entire day like i truly love a makeup look like this but sometimes my brows can be super stubborn i always do my brows first because if i do my brows and i don't have time for anything else that's okay with me um i will just throw in a little bit of concealer blend it out and walk out the door because i need my brows on like i can't walk out the doors with like my brows just all crazy and like fuzzy and gross so if you are that type of person that needs your brows done no matter what do your brows first so the last two steps are obviously mascara and lips Sometimes I honestly won't wear mascara. Like if I wasn't filming to show you guys what mascara would look like with this, I probably would not wear mascara today because I just, not a lot of foundation got on my eyeshad eyeshadows, eyelashes, so they don't look super white. It depends, if I get like a lot of concealer or something on my lashes, then I will wear mascara. But if I don't, then I don't really care because I like that like naked look of the eyes. However, I'm filming a video, so I need to put mascara on. So I'm going to be using the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I don't have a preference in mascaras, really. I can try any mascara. As long as it doesn't make my eyelashes super clumpy, I will wear it. So I am going to be curling my eyelashes. A lot of people don't like curling their eyelashes, but I need to because if I don't, when I blink, my eyelashes will literally like hit my glasses like windshield wipers. It's so annoying. Now we're gonna go on mascara. So like I said, I'm gonna use the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I haven't used this in a while, so I don't even remember if I like it. So that is the look with mascara. Um, obviously you guys saw it without mascara too, right before I put mascara on. I do not wear bottom lash mascara. I just don't like the way it looks on me. Um, I think it like drags my whole face down. And I think not wearing bottom lash mascara really just like opens up my eyes. So I prefer not to wear bottom lash mascara. And for lips, it honestly depends on what I'm going for. So a lot of the times I will use my Glossier um, Generation G lipstick in the color like just because it's so quick and so easy literally just put it on But for today's video, I want to be a little bit more fancy and it still takes me 10 minutes to do this um, I will just grab a lip liner. I'm just gonna use the Kylie cosmetics lip liner in I think it's Dulce K or something. Yeah Dulce K so a lip liner that looks like your color your color your lips. Hello. And then I'm just going to line my lips very lightly. Do not like line like you're going to put mask, I mean, lipstick on because you're not. Unless you want to, then go right ahead. And since you still have that lip balm on, this step will be so easy. 
because it's like moist. Ew. Um, then I take my finger and I feather the edges. Sometimes I will literally just go in with a lip balm, but today I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color Kristen. I absolutely love this stuff. So guys, this is the finished makeup look. Like I said, it literally takes me 10 to 15 minutes max. I've told you a bunch of tips that I would do to take caution. Like I will always do my brows first, just in case my brows take a little bit longer that day, then I will cut out some steps. I normally don't wear a foundation, but like I said, if you guys wanna see a non-foundation look like this, definitely let me know. But this is like my go-to pretty much when I'm going to school, when I'm going to work, anything. If I'm wearing makeup, this is what I am wearing. Let me, hold on. Let me put the glasses on, make it real. <laughs> This is pretty much it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, this takes me 10 to 15 minutes max. This is my go-to makeup look. I really wanted to film a video for you guys that had to do with makeup because I've been posting a lot of other random things recently and I'm losing subscribers. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video and if you guys like me, then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that post notification bell so that you guys never miss a video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I really, really hope I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.